What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Hips Too Smooth. And we back at it again with another banger. All right. Um, I need you guys to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We got my man Justin down here on the bottom of the screen. Okay, number five. Okay, so I want you guys to pay attention to a couple of things. Okay, he plays this inside leverage. Um, that's cool. All right, for this situation. Um, 1002 patient through the quick game, eyes to his man. This man leads him to the ball. All right. It's an outbreak and route, guys. So the ball is the equalizer, guys. The ball is the equalizer. All outbreaking throws take a long time to be completed, guys. They take a long time to be completed. We need to be aware of that. We need to put that in our brain, you know, and we have the advantage to the outbreaking throw. Why? We're already out there, guys. Okay. Now, how can we make this play a little bit better? Um, me personally, I would play this outside leverage. Okay. The same result would have happened. Uh, why would I do this? Because of spacing reasons. All right. I know that I'm in cover four. All right. So I want to be able to see the quarterback at all times. And I want to be able to see my man. All right. I can do that from planning cover four like that playing on the outside because I can see both of them. If we can see both of them, we have an advantage. All right. But if your coach is one of those coaches that are like, hey, you need to keep your eyes on your receiver, eyes on the receiver, eyes on the receiver, then that's what you're going to do. But if we're playing on the outside right here, guys, all right, we noticed that this is a cover four situation, guys. Cover four. All right. So he has a curl to flat defender. OK, so if two runs are out, um, that guy is going to own the out. Now your safety is free. So if this dude runs a deep route now, y'all are inside out in this jump. Y'all are bracketing this, which will also make your deep downfield coverage better. OK, it'll give one of y'all advantage to get a pick in this situation. You feel me? That's why I say that. OK, another thing that we're looking at this concept is dumb this is why i tell you guys to study your route concepts all right because there's only so much they can do all right because they're reading certain players guys and this concept right here out out at the same freaking route depth they ran both routes to the corner that's dumb okay but if you read your route concepts guys okay and we know our route concepts Guys, we know that they can only do certain stuff because of spacing reasons, spacing reasons, guys. What does that mean, guys? That means that, hey, in order for this route concept to work, we need to occupy certain spots on the field so we can open up other things, guys. Because if you run something like this, you're running routes into the same person, which means Hey, you ran two routes into the same zone. Now you expect somebody to be open. That's not logical. But if they would have went Ohio, they would have made the cornerback have to read. Ohio concept is a out by two and a go by one, which would have pulled the corner off and then made the read on the backer. Okay. They would even read the corner, and then if they would have seen that he flew back, they would have tried to bet on him beating this backer, guys. Okay, guys? Um, I think that's what they were probably supposed to do anyway, but he threw it um, because this is like sloppy football. But those are some tips. Those are some things we need to pay attention to. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We love you guys. Um, keep getting better.